Yo, what's going on guys? Tanmay for Simple Snippets and welcome back to another video tutorial under Network Security and today we are going to be taking a detailed look at an asymmetric cryptography algorithm which is known as RSA algorithm. So if you've been following this entire playlist of network security, information security, we've been covering a lot of big algorithms, especially the symmetric ones like DES, IDEA, we've seen Diffie-Hellman key exchange and if you have missed any of the previous videos, you can check out those videos in this playlist. Today we are going to be taking a look at an asymmetric key algorithm and we already know what the difference between symmetric and asymmetric is. So RSA algorithm which was developed by Ron Rivest, Adi Shamir and Len Edelman. So that's why the name RSA that is their initials R, S and A. And it is one of the most popular and proven asymmetric key cryptography algorithm. So the main crux of RSA algorithm is on the mathematical fact that it is easy to find and multiply large prime numbers together but it is extremely difficult to factor their products. So this is the crux of RSA algorithm so if you are making a note or if you are preparing your answers you can note this point it is very important. So what it says that you can select large prime numbers and multiply them easily but it is very difficult to find the factors of that product you know of that result. So this is the basic mathematical crux. And this is just an overview of asymmetric key cryptography if you probably have forgotten or if you don't know how it works. Basically what happens is in asymmetric key cryptography every user has its own public key and private key. So one key is public which is available to everyone on the network and one is private. So you can see in the diagram Alice has her own two keys public key and private key and Bob has his own two keys public key and private key. Now the encryption goes as follows. So Alice takes the plain text PT and encrypts it using her public key. So she takes this public key and performs encryption. She gets the ciphertext and sends it on the internet to Bob. Now when this ciphertext is received at the Bob's end, what he does is he takes his private key KD and then decrypts it to get the plain text. So you can see there are two different keys involved. One is public key of Alice for encryption and private key of Bob for decryption. Similarly, the other way around, if Bob had to send a message to Alice, he would take the plain text, he would take his own public key KE, apply it to the plain text, get the cipher text and send it over the internet to Alice. Alice would read this cipher text and uh, use her private key KD. So Alice would use KD, which is her own private key over here on the cipher text to get the plain text back. So this is how communication happens in asymmetric key cryptography. Okay, so now let's move on to the actual algorithm of RSA and how it goes step by step. And then later we'll also see an example. So that's when the idea will be very clear to you. So this is the algorithm steps you can see one to four and then we have encryption and decryption. I'm just going to read it line by line. And what we'll do is we'll see an example because only then you'll understand how the algorithm is basically working. Because just by reading this algorithm, you won't really understand the working of the RSA algorithm that is in the practical sense. So step number one is to choose two large prime numbers P and Q. Okay. And then we have to calculate N, which is P star Q that is P into Q. So then we get a huge number. Now to select the public key. So we know that in asymmetric, we need two keys, right? For encryption and decryption. So this is, we are talking about the public key that is for encryption and we are considering it E and it has to be such that it is not a factor of P minus one and Q minus one. Okay. So what we will do is side by side, we'll take the example also so that you understand it very well. So according to step number one, we are taking two large prime numbers P as seven and Q as 17. Now these numbers are obviously not really large because for simplicity purpose, we are going to perform all the calculations of the algorithm as well, right? So that's why we're taking small prime numbers. But in reality, these numbers are very large and that's what makes the entire algorithm very complex to crack. And that is the basic crux of this algorithm, right? So that's why in reality, the prime numbers are very large with an order of nine or 10 digits or even more. So yeah, step number two says calculate n is equal to p star q. So let's see what n is in our case. So in our case, n is equal to 7 into 17, that is p into q, which is 119. Moving on to step number three. Now you have to select the public key, that is the encryption key E, such that it is not a factor of p minus 1 and q minus 1. So in our case, p minus 1 is 7 minus 1, which is 6, and q minus 1 is 17 minus 1, which is 16. So let's see that. 
सो दिस इज स्टेप नंबर थ्री दैट इज पी माइनस वन स्टार क्यू माइनस वन सो इट हैज टू बी मल्टीप्लीकेशन ओवर यर ओके सो लेट मी जस्ट मेक दैट कैलकुले करेक्शन ओवर यर सो दिस एंड रिप्रेजेंट्स मल्टीप्लीकेशन ओके सो इन द स्टेप नंबर थ्री वी आर मल्टीप्लाइंग पी माइनस वन एंड क्यू माइनस वन एंड फॉर अस पी इज सेवन क्यू इज सेवनटीन विच इज सिक्स इंटू सिक्सटीन विच इज नाइन्टी सिक्स सो वी हैव टू चूज अ नंबर ई सच दैट इट इज नॉट अ फैक्टर ऑफ नाइन्टी सिक्स सो आई होप यू नो वट आर फैक्टर्स ऑफ एनी नंबर दैट इज बेसिक मैथमेटिक्स सो लेट एस चूज द पब्लिक की वैल्यू ई एस फाइव बिकॉज फाइव इज नॉट अ फैक्टर ऑफ नाइन्टी सिक्स राइट सो वी आर सिलेक्टिंग ई इक्वल्स टू फाइव विच इज आर एनक्रिप्शन पब्लिक की नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन टू स्टेप नंबर फोर स्टेप नंबर फोर से इज दैट सिलेक्ट द प्राइवेट की दैट इज द डिक्रिप्शन की डी सच दैट द फॉलोइंग इक्वेशन इज ट्रू एंड द इक्वेशन इज डी स्टार ई द होल मॉड ऑफ दिस एंटायर नंबर दैट इज पी माइनस वन स्टार क्यू माइनस वन इज इक्वल टू वन सो वी हैव टू सिलेक्ट डी सच दैट वेन डी इज सब्सटीट्यूटेड इन दिस एंटायर इक्वेशन वी गेट द रिजल्ट एज वन ओके सो लेट्स सी दैट इन स्टेप नंबर फोर इन द एग्जाम्पल ओके सो दिस इज दैट इक्वेशन डी स्टार ई मॉड पी माइनस वन स्टार क्यू माइनस वन इक्वल्स टू वन सो वॉट आई एम चूजिंग इज लेट एस चूज डी एस सेवेंटी सेवन ओके नाउ आई ऑलरेडी नो ऑल दीज वैल्यूज बट यू कैन सिलेक्ट योर ओन वैल्यू एंड पुट इट इन दिस इक्वेशन एंड गेट द रिजल्ट एज वन बट फॉर सिंप्लिसिटी पर्पज आई ऑलरेडी कैलकुलेटेड दिस वैल्यूज सो आई एम चूजिंग डी एस सेवेंटी सेवन बिकॉज सेवेंटी सेवन स्टार फाइव मॉड नाइन्टी सिक्स एंड दिस मॉड नाइन्टी सिक्स इज कमिंग फ्रॉम दिस इक्वेशन दैट इज पी माइनस वन दैट इज सेवन माइनस वन स्टार सेवनटीन माइनस वन एंड वेन यू मल्टीप्लाई दिस वी गेट नाइन्टी सिक्स राइट यू कैन सी इट ओवर यर ऑल्सो सो दैट्स वाई सेवेंटी सेवन दैट इज द डी दैल्यू दैट वी आर रज्यूमिंग वी हेफ पुट ओवर यर ई वी वॉलरेडी कैलकुलेटेड एज फाइव एंड मॉड नाइन्टी सिक्स इज दिस दिस पार्ट ओके विच इज इक्वल टू थ्री एटी फाइव मॉड नाइन्टी सिक्स विच गिव्स एस वन सो आई होप यू नो हाउ टू कैलकुलेट मॉड इफ यू डोंट यू कैन यूज अ साइंटिफिक कैलसी टू कैलकुलेट मॉड एंड बेसिकली मॉड ऑपरेशन आर यूज टू लिमिट द वैल्यू इन सर्टन रेंज एंड इट टेक्स द रिमाइंडर इंस्टेड ऑफ द क्वेश्चन वेन वी परफॉर्म द बेसिक डिविजन सो जस्ट टू गिव यू एन एग्जाम्पल लेट्स सी वी आर डिवाइडिंग थर्टी फोर बाय लेवन वी नो लेवन थ्री जार थर्टी थ्री एंड देन वन इज गोइंग टू बी द रिमाइंडर राइट सो वेन वी से थर्टी फोर मॉड लेवन द आंसर इज गोइंग टू बी दिस रिमाइंडर ओके दैट इज वन ओके सो दिस वॉज मॉड्यूल ऑपरेशन एनी वेज मूविंग अहेड नाउ वी हैव सिलेक्टेड डी एस सेवेंटी सेवन सो आई एम जस्ट गोना से डी इक्वल्स टू सेवेंटी सेवन विच इज गोइंग बी यूज एज डिक्रिप्शन की सो वी हैव आर एनक्रिप्शन एंड डिक्रिप्शन की बाय स्टेप नंबर फोर फ्रॉम द एलगोरिदम नो द एनक्रिप्शन गोज एज फॉलोज कैलकुलेट साइफर टेक्स सी टी फ्रॉम द प्लेन टेक्स पी टी एज फॉलोज सो सी टी इज गोइंग टू बी प्लेन टेक्स रेस टू ई मॉड एन सो दिस फॉर्मुला इज गोन गिव अस साइफर टेक्सट एंड वेन वी आर डिक्रिप्टिंग इट बैक वी आर सींग प्लेन टेक्स इज इक्वल टू साइफर टेक्स रेस टू द डिक्रिप्शन की मॉड एन सो यू कैन सी वाइल एनक्रिप्टिंग वी आर यूजिंग ई विच इज द एनक्रिप्शन की एंड वाइल डिक्रिप्टिंग वी आर यूजिंग डी विच इज द डिक्रिप्शन की सो दिस इज वाई दिस एलगोरिदम इज ए सेमेट्रिक इन नेचर सो लेट्स ट्राई टू परफॉर्म दोज कैलकुलेशन ऑल्सो नाउ लेट्स अज्यूम दैट बेस्ड ऑन ऑल दीज अब वैल्यूज वी आर कंसिडरिंग एंड एनक्रिप्शन एंड डिक्रिप्शन प्रोसेस एज फॉलोज सो द प्रोसेस इज दैट वी आर कंसिडरिंग एवरी एल्फाबेट एज नंबर वैल्यू सो वी आर सींग ए इक्वल्स टू वन बी इक्वल्स टू टू सी इक्वल्स टू थ्री डी इक्वल्स टू फोर e equals to five, f equals to six, and so on and so forth, right? So what we are doing is we are just assigning numbers to the alphabets because since mathematical calculations are required, we need to convert the alphabets into numeric values. Okay. So now let's say we want to send f as the plain text. Okay. So we are considering the PT that is plain text f, which is corresponding to six, right? So according to our conversion of alphabet to numbers, f is assigned number six. So this is the plain text, which is f, which is equal to six. Now again, for simplicity purpose, we are only using one alphabet because if we use more than one alphabet, the calculation becomes very tedious. And I just want to show how the encryption and decryption will get you back the same plain text. Okay. So for demonstration purpose, we are using simple values. So now substituting all the values in this equation, the cipher text c t is going to be equal to p t, which is six over here. You can see six raised to e. Now from The algorithm we've found that e is five, so six raised to five mod and n value is hundred and nineteen. Now again you can use your scientific calculator to calculate all these values. I've already calculated mine, 
so from this the cipher text that we are getting is equal to 41 okay so this is the result of encryption that is encrypting f which was 6 we got the cipher text of ct equals to 41 now for decryption this formula is used that is pt is equal to ct raised to decryption key mod n so let's see how that works so in that case pt is going to be ct which is 41 raised to d now let's see what is d d is 77 and again mod 119 right so again i have already calculated these values these are very large values but if you calculate on the calci you will get the value of 6 which is the original plain text and you will get this value back and the reason why you will get this value back is because of these formulas and they are made in such a way that mathematically they give you back the value and that's how the RSA algorithm works okay and it is just made complex because these numbers are very large actually that is p and q values are very huge so to calculate or for a hacker to crack that number it is very difficult so yeah this was the whole process of encryption and decryption in RSA algorithm and you can see that two different keys are used for encryption and decryption that is for encryption E was used that is the public key and for decryption D was used. Now in the scenario of asymmetric key this encryption public key would be of Alice and this decryption private key would be of Bob. Okay. Similarly for, for the reverse case Alice would have her own private key and Bob would have his own public key also when it comes to reverse communication that is when Bob wants to send something to Alice and by that I mean this scenario that is Alice would have the key of ke equals to 5 that is the public key and Bob here would have kd which is equal to 77 so Alice would use this ke public key encryption over here to encrypt the plain text, get the cipher text, send it to Bob over the internet and Bob would use this KD over here to decrypt the cipher text, get back the plain text and read the message. So yeah, that's it for this video guys. I hope you understood the entire RSA algorithm. What is the basic crux that is the mathematical logic behind the entire working, how asymmetric key cryptography works and we also saw a basic example of RSA algorithm. So by using some basic and small prime numbers, we were able to prove that encryption and decryption is possible. So thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And if you haven't yet subscribed on this channel, make sure you subscribe so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. And for that, you can also turn on the notifications. So thanks for watching guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.